Now we'll see adrenergic pharmacology. The chief neurotransmitter in sympathetic nervous system is norepinephrine. There is also epinephrine that is released into the blood and peripheral dopamine. Before looking at the drugs, we'll first see how norepinephrine is synthesized and released at the nerve terminal. First, tyrosine is an amino acid which is actively transported into the nerve terminal which is acted upon then by the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase converting it into dopa. Dopa is then converted into dopamine which is then uh, uptaken into the uh, storage vesicles and within the storage vesicles it is converted into norepinephrine. Now when an action potential reaches the nerve terminal this norepinephrine is released into the synaptic cleft. After uh, releasing from the nerve terminal Norepinephrine acts on different receptors, the alpha-1, alpha-2, that is presynaptically, and beta-1, but not the beta-2 because beta-2 receptors are generally not innervated. The alpha-2 receptor is an autoreceptor that is there because uh, um, upon its stimulation, that means that there is uh, too much of the norepinephrine in the synaptic cleft and more of it should not be released so it mediates negative feedback on noradrenaline synthesis and release. Excess uh, norepinephrine or after it has performed its function is reuptaken into the nerve terminal where it is either metabolized by the enzyme monoamine oxidase A or is reuptaken into the um, into the storage vesicles. The released uh, norepinephrine is also degraded by enzymes catechol O methyltransferase and monoamine oxidase which converts it into metabolites that, that are vinyl mandelic acid, metanephrine and normetanephrine. All of these metabolites are excreted in the urine and they can be used as a diagnostic tu tool for uh, diagnosis of pheochromocytoma which is a tumor of the adrenal medulla which releases loads of these hormones that is epinephrine actually. Now we'll see the drugs acting on this diagram and I'll represent them with numbers. The first drug will act at the place number 1, the second at the 2 and third at the 3 and fourth. The first drug acting at the number 1 site is actually inhibiting tyrosine hydroxylase and it is the drug called metyrosine. This drug is actually asking the tyrosine hydroxylase to act on me, that is met tyrosine, and not on tyrosine. By inhibiting tyrosine hydroxylase, it will inhibit synthesis of noradrenaline, and thus it is used in some cases of pheochromocytoma. The second drug acting at the site numbered as 2 is rezapine. It acts by inhibiting the uptake of dopamine into the storage vesicle and thus uh, does not allow it to get converted into norepinephrine. So to remember that we can say that rezapine is a reserved drug and it does not go to a room full of more dopamine. It was used in the past to treat hypertension but is not used anymore. The drugs acting on the third numbered site are trenylcypromine and pargoline. Both of them act by inhibiting the MAO enzyme and thus inhibit the degradation of norepinephrine. What they do is that they potentiate tyramine action and is used, uh, both of these drugs can be used in depression because they increase the monoamines, that is the norepinephrine within the central nervous system. Lastly, we have the drugs guanethidine and bretillium, which act on the fourth site, that is they block release of noradrenaline. They are used in ventricular fibrillation management and they can be remembered by the mnemonic that Brett is enjoying his GAVA but not letting uh, nor epinephrine to go out and get his share of GAVAs. Uh, that's all about the introduction of adrenergic pharmacology. We'll see the drugs that are acting on the alpha and beta and dopamine receptors next.